here. It's cooking with Nettie time. Well, you know what? I think probably like most of you, Fred and I have been, you know, kind of up and down in our feelings when it comes to what's going on in the world and specifically Ukraine. And we all feel like we can't do much about it. And, you know, Nettie always says, do what you can, not what you can't. So that's just what I'm going to do today. Um, don't you wish we had all the answers and all the insight that our leaders have? And, well, we don't know what to do. And so sometimes doing what you can, not what you can't, just means doing what you can with your day. Um, I know I've heard from a lot of people who feel like they feel frozen and they don't know what to do and... You know, Nettie feels somewhat blessed because I have some art and you can I can always throw myself into some art. And I'm reading a really good book that has nothing to do with anything but um, joy. And um, it, it, it's a matter of making some choices that help get you through until you figure out what you can do. And that, that day's coming. You know, that day is coming. And I'm not here to tell you what you should be doing but giving you some ideas of what you can be doing. So you know yourself better than anybody else. And you know where you can find your joy, even in the worst of circumstances. You know, we've, we've had a lot of lessons on that. And although we don't feel like really laughing our heads off, <laughs> well, I do feel like that. I want to be able to do that. And it, and it comes in spurts, you know, there's ways of of laughing just to escape temporarily. But what we find ourselves doing is, you know, eating some comfort food. And, you know, a lot of times Fred and I would like to go out for an ice cream or something or, you know, do something special like that. But we're really, really trying to be healthy. So instead our comfort food becomes some of those healthy options that we have. And, well, that's why I put on my cap. I'm kind of pretending like I'm in Mexico. <laughs> you know, remember, we've kind of been, we're still on the, it, not in the middle of COVID, things are changing, but we still don't feel comfortable traveling. And so by the time we get to go, it's going to have been three years. And so what I do is bring Mexico into the house. So that's why I didn't do my hair up. And I've got my little my little cap that I wear when I'm on the beach in Mexico and I've got some little earrings that remind me of sunshine. And they look they they look handmade and well this isn't really Mexico. It looks more like Hawaii, but it reminds me of Mexico. And you even if you only just kinda did that, you know, maybe dress up, put your sun hat on, go out and sit and look at the pictures from past vacations. Not to make you sad, but to give you hope. But the other way we do this is I bring Mexico here by making something, one of my favorite recipes. So I'm going to, I'm going to make that recipe for you today. And it's, uh, it's, it's from a restaurant that we love in Puerto Vallarta called Ernest, Ernest, Ernesto's Good Grub. <laughs> we love it. It's an old house that just doesn't have it, 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 you know, it's just a restaurant now. And it, you walk in and it's, oh, just the nicest people that own that and always welcome us. And, you know, it's a secret, but that, well, it's not really a secret, but all the cruise ships go there. You know, they kind of all stop there on their way downtown to Puerto Vallarta. And we just happen to, you know, go there quite often because my dentist is just two blocks away. And... Oh, Lulu, I'm busy right now. You're going to have to wait. Lulu wants to get in the picture. <laughs> well, come on, jump up here. Okay, here's Lulu. Hi. Say hi. I love you too, Lulu. But this is a short segment. This is, we're talking about Ernesto's Good Grub. So I'm going to make you a soup. They make a tortilla soup, and they give out the recipe. And these people, they make this wonderful enchilada sauce from scratch that goes into the be the chicken broth and um it's a long process and they hand pull all the chicken well i do almost that much i i don't make my own enchilada sauce 
but when I'm really making it as close to theirs as possible, I start with chicken thighs in the bone and I boil those up to make the base broth and then I add a little broth and you'll see. Well, anyway, I'm gonna show you what I do um, when we just know we need to have that kind of comfort food around, you know, and we don't have time to, we don't have time to make it from scratch. And I tell you, when you're in a hurry, it's better than fast food, better than going out for tacos and all that. So, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate it and then I'll be back to say adios. <laughs> okay. See you in a bit. Look, Lulu, that's just so rude. So here's all the ingredients we're going to use for the fast, good grub soup. Chicken tortilla soup. I make, um, I make a stock. I use organic chicken stock from Kirkland and I use a, the whole quart and then I use about a quarter of a cup to a half a cup or a little bit more. It's all to taste. And I put it in the pan. Then I add a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and about a half a teaspoon of cumin. And I just toss it in the pan and I heat it up. Nettie already made some. And I and look at, I, 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 here, right there. Ernesto's broth. And so we'll talk about that in a minute. But then I buy Costco's pulled chicken. Now this is what you do when you're in a hurry and you can either get a roasted chicken from the grocery store and bone it yourself or just buy this because this goes a long way. It's juicy and tender and really works well and is still cheaper than going out for fast food. We have a little bit of chopped cilantro, a little bit of sour cream. You can choose if you want fat free, whole fat, whatever, that's your business. And tortilla chips, your favorite. So did I say mozzarella cheese? I think so. If not, I just did. <laughs> so, like I said, one quarter chicken stock to up to a half a can of enchilada sauce, depending on your tastes. Okay, so we're pouring some of this prepared stock into the, the pan. And then we're just going to bring it to a nice boil. And it takes very little time for that to happen. And we bring it to a boil and then we're going to have our mug ready. While that's cooking, we put a little bit of this wonderful chicken into this mug. It doesn't take a whole lot. And it, it's, you want to bring it to room temperature if you can, just the amount you're going to use. But if you haven't, I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm flaking up the chicken. Let me wipe my hands. And on top of that chicken, you're going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese. About three tablespoons will do. Okay, and we can see that this is coming to a nice boil. Add a little bit of fresh cilantro, just a tad. Okay, turn off your pan and then add just enough of this broth in here to heat up the chicken. We're gonna let that set for just a little bit and I'll come right back. Okay, so this has been sitting in the hot broth just enough to warm it up so that it doesn't get cold. Now we're pouring this boiling broth over the soup. And add a little bit more cilantro. Add a little bit of chips in here. Not so much, you don't have to have a lot. It's enough for a crunch like crouton. Put those on there and add just enough sour cream. We add about a teaspoon in ours. That's enough because that helps cool off the broth just a, a little bit. And then we stir it up. And boy, am I telling you, when you get that stirred up, and that hot broth melts the cheese. Oh, you know, it's so good, because look at it. It's stringy and yummy. Okay, time to eat. That was really fast. 
I mean, especially fast for me. If I weren't explaining this to you, basically, I was opening up my safe broth, pouring it in to get it hot. You can do that in the microwave, too. <laughs> well, you can. And then you warm up just enough of that chicken. And just to get it, you know, take the refrigerator off of it. And then add your mozzarella cheese. Pour in the rest of the broth, a little cilantro, a little sour cream. And a little tortilla chip. And then we take our first bite. <laughs> that cheese is melted and stringy and so good. That's low fat skimmed shredded mozzarella cheese. It's comforting. It's quick. You know, it doesn't have to be food, but if it is, think about making something that really reminds you of being with friends and family. Turkey. A whole turkey dinner or just buy a couple of thighs or breasts or stovetop stuffing. And you know, it's okay to have a cookie. It's okay to have some ice cream. It just, we want to be wise about it because we're all doing a few of the COVID pounds. Not all of us, but some of us. And, um, you know, if you make that batch of cookies, free some. But, you know, keep out a dozen and then share them with somebody. Finding a way to comfort ourselves is a good thing. Until we can do what we can regarding some of the bigger issues in our world, that we need to take care of our home, care of our family, care of our own hearts, care of our own souls. It's a good thing. Oh, I hope Martha Stewart doesn't, I hope she doesn't sue me for that one. <laughs> well, she, she knows a good thing when she sees it, and I think she'd agree. Comforting yourself is about calming yourself down and pulling yourself into a place of steadiness, you know, of just being in the present with what you can be and what you can do. So find something that comforts you. Make it a point to do something now. Start with yourself so that you can be a first responder of love and you can be the light to others. And if you really want to do that, invite your closest friends over for a little bit of good grub soup. Ha! Chicken tortilla soup made the quick way. Always remember, Nettie loves you. Let me turn off my video. I know I love you too. Oh, I do, I love you too. Oh, oh my goodness, I can't see the button through your hands. <laughs>